do you know the difference between self-confidence and self-worth? Well, I thought I did until I just heard Jamie Kern Lima describe the difference on a uh, YouTube video with Jenna Kutcher. And I think this is something everyone needs to know. So like if you are the type of person where you are an achiever, but you find yourself pulling back, you know, like not really going for it or actually all the way going for it, but sabotaging it somehow, your efforts are stopping and starting, or if you just completely kill it and you do whatever it is that you have set in your heart to do, and then you achieve it, and then you feel dissatisfied with yourself, you don't feel really fulfilled. Well, that has to do with self-worth. You see, and I've got my notes here. Self-confidence, it's like the house with the rooms and the curtains and the different spaces. And self-worth is like your foundation. Self-confidence is what you develop as you achieve and as you uh, uh, aspire and as you go after boldly, courageously, what it is you want to do. But you can be bold and courageous and still not have self-worth and achieve things and feel as if you are unfulfilled or feel like you're enough. Basically, if you feel like you are not enough, that you don't have enough, that's a self-worth issue. So while it is an internal trait, self-confidence is based largely on the external the circumstances around you and the way that people respond and what you can do. And it's fragile and it fluctuates, right? Self-worth is that deep, it's like self-love. It's that deep internal knowing, that trust, that belief in yourself, that you are worthy and you don't need to change a thing. You don't need to lose weight. You don't need to grow your hair out or cut your hair or put on lashes, put on makeup. You don't need to do anything to be exactly what you would be if you did what you thought in your ideal mind you would have done. You alone are enough. Those are the differences.